Hi guys, welcome to Immortal India in the next episode in the Did You Know series. Check your phone or your smartwatch and see the time zone for India. It says GMT plus 5.30, right? Basically, it means 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of the GMT or the time recorded then at a place in the UK called Greenwich. Now, it's written as Greenwich but it's pronounced Greenwich for some reason, I don't know. In any case, therefore, the longitude meridian that passes through Greenwich is called Zero Meridian. The entire world's time zones are built around the time recorded at Greenwich. So, at least in time zone terms, Greenwich is the center of the world. But was it always so? Let's find out. Most of you probably know the zero meridian as the line that runs through Greenwich, England. It's a basis for the Greenwich Mean Time or GMT and the time zones we use across the world. But historically, things were actually quite different. Ancient cultures had their own unique ways of calculating time and among them, the Indian calendar stands out perhaps as the most scientific one. While the Western Gregorian calendar is solar based, that is, it's based on the sun, and the Arabic calendar is lunar based, that is, it's based on the movements of the moon, the Indian calendar is uniquely lunisolar, integrating both the sun and the moon. This dual approach makes it a very complex but also remarkably accurate calendar. Even more fascinating is that ancient India had its own zero meridian. Firstly, the ancient Indians knew that the earth's shape was spherical. There was never a flat earth society in India. And there are enough textual evidences for that, that the ancient Indians knew that the shape of the earth was a globe, was a sphere. But an obvious proof is in the ancient Sanskrit term for geography itself, Bhugol Shastra. Shastra means text or science, Bhu means earth and Gol means round or sphere. So, if the earth is a globe, then there would be longitudes also, right? Remember school geography class? So, for the ancient Indians, the zero meridian that they used for calculating time ran through Ujjain in central India. Yes, right here in Ujjain in central India. This meridian was pivotal in determining times and dates in ancient times in India. It is critical today as well for calculating the Kal Nirnai calendar, which most Indians rely on to keep track of the spiritual, ritual and festival dates. If you haven't heard of the Kal Nirnai calendar, ask your mother. Trust me, she'll know about it. Ujjain is also unique in another aspect. It is also intersected by the Tropic of Cancer or what is called in Sanskrit, the Karkarekha. Therefore, on summer solstice, that is June 21st, the sun would shine directly above Ujjain, directly overhead. Then wouldn't you agree then, that Ujjain makes a logical location for a zero meridian? Because the sun would be directly overhead on the summer solstice. Ujjain is the only place where the Tropic of Cancer and the Zero Meridian, if the Zero Meridian was there, would bisect. Look, in Greenwich, something like this can never happen. The sun will never be overhead because Greenwich lies well above the Tropic of Cancer. So, in my thinking, Ujjain is actually a far more logical place for the Zero Meridian. And on an even more mystical note, Ujjain's main Lord Shiva temple the Ma Kaleshwarji is one of the 12 river Jyotirlingas. But think about the term Mahakaleshwar. In Sanskrit, it translates as the great lord of time. 
intriguing right according to legends this temple the mahakaleshwar ji temple was constructed by ancient indians at the precise spot where the indian zero meridian and the tropic of cancer bisected of course they bisected in the period when the temple was built so today the exact location of the temple might vary slightly due to the earth precession yes that school lesson you know about the earth's axial wobble you know that right the earth actually wobbles a bit on its axis but even the new spot wherever the tropic of cancer and the ancient indian zero meridian would bisect is very much around ujjain only it's close by the earth doesn't wobble that much it wobbles only slightly i often muse about the zero meridian coming back to ujjain from greenwich it is a far far more logical place for it and perhaps a few decades down the line when india is at the peak of global economics again maybe we can then turn the clock back okay sorry bad joke but as my young shooting crew keeps telling me it's a dad joke okay for the older ones who don't know a dad joke is basically a very poor joke normally told by older guys i'm 50 years old so my bad jokes are dad jokes okay and if you don't know what the details about it just search on google leave comments below on other cool things you may have discovered about time bye time to go now if you enjoyed this episode like and share it please and if you want to receive the notification for the next episode click subscribe please thank you